Richie was going very well at the first half. What resulted in the scoreline going away in the second? Yeah, probably disagree with you there. I thought, you know, I thought our effort were good enough in the first half, but you know, we we thought we let him off the hook. You know, we thought we had enough uh, enough sort of opportunities. You know, we had a couple of opportunities rubbed out, um, but but we were chasing. We were just chasing opportunities that weren't there and trying to force and, and push push passes. We just thought, you know, play some control footy, which, which at, at the periods in the game when we did, we, we caused them a lot of trouble. Uh, in terms of tries we scored and, and line breaks that we made, um, and we just thought if we could fix that up second half, then then we would be all right. Um, but second half we come out and throw an hand grenade of an offload, don't touch the ball for four sets, and then throw a pass over the sideline and don't touch the ball for six sets. Um, you know that's a lot of defending to do again against Saints. Uh, having said all that, um, you know the, the biggest concern for me was the manner of the defence in that. You know because I think we've shown over a number of weeks that that we've got a bit more than that in us. You know we talked before the game about our concentration levels needed to be high against Saints because you know the such a threat with the ball. Um, yeah, they were poor, but you know, it just it lets us know where we are. You know we weren't getting too excited over two wins while. Of course, we're happy with the wins and, and the manner and style of the performances. Um, it's about backing it up week in, week out, and being consistent. And yeah, I thought we just had some players tonight that were, you know, some guys just happy to shortcut and uh, look to the teammates to, to, to make the better efforts, um, which is not good enough. But as I say, it's, it's enlightened us a little bit. I thought it was always going to be a, a bit of a test uh, to see where we were at after a couple of good weeks. Um, but, but we sort of had this at the OKR game too, you know, um, and we know that you know two good weeks and and one bad week or two about is not is not good enough, and I, I guess that's why you know that's why we spent three of the last four years in the bottom four. Is it, is it fair to say that despite the recent results showing how far you've come, tonight also shows how far you get to go? Hundred percent, hundred percent, and and that were always going to be the the, the test. Uh, and I guess and, and lightning for us, and, and it does. It shows you, um, you know, the, the consistency levels uh, in the club over a period of time haven't been where they need to be for this club. And you know, it appear that you know that's that's still the case. You know, I just I just caught the back end of the sky, and you know, Brian and Phil talking that we've regressed and they did better away at Saints early doors. I think the club's been inconsistent for a while, and I still think. You know, our long-term fix-up is it, 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 is to fix some of that up, whether that's through you know working with these players or or, or personnel, you know, personnel changes. So uh, we said that to players. I thought it was a disappointing a period. Um, you know, second half was disappointing a period as I've experienced with this team. Is there at the same time uh, an acknowledgement to say this is class they seem to put? We have lost three games this year, two London away when when they went with you know an extremely weak team. Um, some guys out tonight, but I'd, I'd still say they're enough quality and talent. Um, and I just think at the moment they play at a different they're playing at a different speed to everyone else, and that's why we talked about concentration levels uh, being high and, and the need to make one on one tackles and, and particularly one on one tackles on the edge. Uh, I thought we did that first half. You know, we had a bit of a system error when, when Richie came out just before half time. Um, but but we didn't in the second half. We didn't, and they've got the capability uh, to put you away and put you away pretty impressively and, and pretty quickly. And that's what they did to us. You win the 16 points query. How do you think they compare with other top Super League teams down the years that you've seen? How do I think they compare? Yeah, I think I think they're far on the way. You know, the best team. You know, we had a good look at them in week, and, and they've been difficult to preview because of the team changes. You know, in some games that's led to lack of fluency. But um, you know, the the recognition of what's happening on the field and in the D line, but the speed in which to do it as well. I think some of the skills great as well. Some of the skills, the offloads, picking balls off the boots, um, the the back five. A, a real and making some play tonight, you know, a, a real handful. So, 
um, and a couple of them big young kids that play in the middle for them. So I don't miss a beat on the physical aspect of the game too. So yeah, I, I think you know Gareth, I, I think I hope I'm not speaking too soon and jinxing them, but I think that they're, they're way and above the best team in the comp. You mentioned personnel, and how you, you know, there might be potential that some, something that to change. How's recruitment looking for next year? You've done a lot this season. Are you in a position to do a lot of recruitment? Oh, that's a question. That's a question for Kevin. Um, I think, uh, you know, I think like everybody, you're always looking to try and improve the squad, and it's got to be a recognition that, um, you know, if we're going to get, get inconsistencies, we'll, we'll work out with the players with what we've got and who we've got at that time. and with these opportunities to come up and strengthen, but that, that's not based on the back of tonight. Let me tell you that. You know, I think I think everybody's always striving to do that with the squad, and, and you know, I'm probably the wrong person to ask at this moment. That. Any further questions? Yeah, how's that? Yeah, just failed his head test. Yeah, he's not too bad, not too bad. Uh, but we missed him. You know, we missed him when he went off. I thought well, that were glaringly obvious. Thought thought our middles, yeah, our middles had a bit of a struggle tonight. Did it? Otherwise, Rich, all unscathed. Yeah, all unscathed, and uh, fair be few blocks with the suits on in the changing room. Uh, probably thinking I might get a crack in this team next week, uh, and probably might not be too far wrong either. Um, I set that up so I can get out. Of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, we, we missed a big fella tonight, but yeah, it, 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 it's say disappointing from our point, but and enlightening at, at the same time too, and you know, I, I guess it, it's where we're at in terms of in terms of consistency. I think I think we're making some headway. I do think we're making some headway, but at the same time, we can't cop um, you know periods like we saw in the second half too.